we've pretty much cut our staff down over the years about as much as we can. I don't know how much more we can cut our staff and keep our current mode of operation. Dick Henke has owned the malt shop in southern Minneapolis for over 40 years. When federal minimum wage surpassed Minnesota's in 2009, Henke had to cut positions. He and his employees fear the shop is running out of options. Minimum wage goes up, our prices go up. That means not enough, you know, people aren't going to go out to eat like they used to because they're not going to be able to afford it as much. We either have to raise our prices and figure out a way to absorb it, or we have to change our concept to a concept that requires less labor. The Bureau of Labor Statistics lists the average hourly wage of servers at $8. However, people in the food service industry insist they make significantly more. Tipped employees on average make over $18 an hour with their wage and their tips. I can make up to 25 bucks an hour. I'm happy with what I make right now. Today, food service employers and employees attended a press conference in support of a tiered tip system. It would keep our tipped employees at their current federal minimum wage of $7.25 if they make $12 an hour or more with their tips and wages. According to State Representative Ryan Winkler, food service workers underestimate the difficulty of implementing a tiered wage system. The Hospitality Association has been pushing this tiered tip for the last year or so. They, wasn't, they didn't have a lot of success last year. Um, you know, I guess you can't blame anybody to keep trying. But